They come from the same precursors. So um, this is too little for me to read. But you can see that here, here are the terpene in products up here. And so they start with um, this geranyl pyrophosphate substrate, but they just go through different enzyme synthesis. And usually the terpenoids are less than 1% of the total plant weight. So cannabis doesn't make a ton of essential oil, which is interesting given how strong it smells. Um, but the cannabinoids and the terpenoids are made in the trichome. Uh, ultraviolet light stimulates their growth, so high ultraviolet intensity is going to increase both terpenoid and cannabinoid content side by side. So that could be why when people smell a plant and if it smells really strong, they'll be like, oh, it's good. So you're not smelling THC. But apparently, if you have a high terpene content, you will likely also have a high cannabinoid content. Not always. Oh, so then, then this back here was just back down to the, the geranyl pyrophosphate going through different enzyme pathways to, to wind up with the cannabinoids as the end product. But here's a summary. So beta myrcene um, purportedly is the one that really would cause the couch lock effect. And we'll see if data, you know, once we collect terpenoid data, if this bears out to be true. Uh, we already talked about beta caryophylline. Supposedly, this is the compound uh, drug dogs were taught to sniff for, because it's almost always in every plant in a pretty high content, still all less than 1%. Uh, D-limonene uh, is an interesting one, and there's uh, somebody who ver is very knowledgeable about the plant who told me personally that he did experiments co-administering THC and limonene, and that limonene modulates the psychoactivity of THC. And we also know limonene it has a, an antidepressant effect, so, you know, a plant with that citrusy smell. Linalool is one that you'll find in lavender, so that may contribute to an antidepressant effect of a plant if it's there in high content. Um, the other one that I find to be, I think, that stands out is uh, the pinenes, and it's a pretty common one. Alpha pinene has the same uh, action as an anticholinesterase activity, so that could account for the, the head high or the mental stimulation of what people call sativas if there's a strong uh, pinene content. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's some of our speculation on synergy with the terpenoids and how terpenoids may be describing the overall effect of different varieties of cannabis.